before i start with how relevant ramayana is to our children because we are dealing with children over here a few points on storytelling because normally we feel storytelling is only for little kids lkg ukg kindergarten why should we be as teachers of the 6th grade because ramayana is for the 6th grade why should we be indulging in storytelling storytelling is a very powerful means or a tool for communication in fact it's an age old tradition it's not today that it has come because we have these bedtime stories grandmother stories it's not now that it has come it's an age old tradition we have uh, yashoda telling stories to krishna kausalya telling stories to rama andal's father telling stories to her why in the puranas we have shiva constantly telling stories to parvati <coughs> all of our scriptures is story based so not only children need stories even we elders at this age also need stories so why do we need stories because in our life to lead a righteous life to lead a good life to lead a meaningful purposeful life we need values and once values come in then we need to implement it in our lives so lessons in life all of them are very very abstract conceptual it's very difficult to communicate it just like that therefore what our rishis our elders have done is they have made these values ride upon characters so once the values which are so subtle which are very difficult for our mind to comprehend and apprehend are posted on or superimposed on characters it becomes easy for us to relate so the moment we uh, hear about that character for example rama or hanuman ji or even ravana both good and bad immediately the uh, the value comes into our mind and if anybody talks about the value the character comes into our mind the name comes the form comes the characteristics come and of course all the stories and the drama involved over there all of them come over there so therefore the need for storytelling like i said even our scriptures upanishads have stories so it's not only ramayana mahabharata and puranas and all now if values have to be superimposed on characters why should we take it from puranas why should we take it from ramayana and mahabharat because now there is a little bit of an allergy for our epics puranas scriptures why not fictional stories nothing wrong in that we can take even fictional stories where there is a message where values have been superimposed but still if we see whenever the values are superimposed on or associated with very very powerful characters like the characters which come in our puranas or our epics we find it enters in very easily stays for a longer time and definitely we will be able to see the child or the youth implemented in their lives so it's very essential for us to have characters which are depicting these values very mighty very powerful which will stay in our memory which will stay in our mind and therefore the need for ramayana and mahabharata and our purana stories storytelling over there why because whoever has given to us the puranas whoever has given to us these epics they are not ordinary writers the scholars pandits they were all our rishis so our rishis did not just give us a once upon a time there lived a king and then you know all the whole story and then then they lived happily ever after it wasn't like that at all they knew that right from childhood onwards up till up till we give up our body every moment in our lives we need very very strong characters to be able to help us to lead our life by following them therefore the importance of these epics and puranas and when we come to the two epics ramayana and mahabharata the mahabharata is a little more complex a little more 
com complexities complicated it is it is the characters as well as the re their relationships so before we enter normally before we enter into a mahabharata the foundation is ramayana so once we are well trained in ramayana not just the story part like madam said it's what is, what is it that the characters and the incidents over there trying to communicate to us once that foundation has been set in then it becomes very safe to enter into any other uh, text otherwise chances are of misinterpreting misquoting misreading so problems can come over there so when it comes to the ramayana it's very very safe over there because the um, the epic over there deals with all characters at their ideal level all are idealistic sometimes it even we wonder can i reach that level to which the characters have been projected whether it is rama or whether it is lakshmana or whoever it is chatrugna or hanuman ji it looks like it's beyond our reach but then our goal should always be very high so that we will be able to draw out of us the best if our goal is very very low then we also are okay i'm okay i think i can reach that goal i can reach it or manage without even putting in effort so to bring bring out the best in us to bring out the uh, effort in us that effort which is needed for us to become whatever we want to become in our day uh, day to day life good citizens good in our career good any any uh, career it can be any profession we need to have a goal ramayana talks about such characters and that goal over so when we enter into the ramayana starting from rama onwards all the character i won't go into the ramayana story because it's not possible at all all the characters over there there is some there are many values associated with each character but with every one character we can uh, identify one predominant value over there for rama it can be honesty dharma what is dharma ramayana is supposed to be a dharma grantha dharma is is, is a very complicated word but to simplify it it just means law of living how to live how to live where how to live well wherever we are in this time in this place and this is for children so can we bring it down to the children's level we can bring it down to ch at all grades we can bring it down how can we do that well we have to uh, we, we go through the ramayana normally all of us go through the ramayana i know the story i think i know everything the message but the ramayana should go through us that's very important so we going through ramayana is different ramayana should go into into us through us once that happens then we will be able to present every character with 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 conviction why because we know what it is it has already gone into us so every character over there stands for some value so how to put it how to put that value across to the children by projecting this particular character it's an art which we all have to develop then not only the characters they are related to each other so in the ramayana we find lot of importance given to relationships husband and wife father and children anything master and servant rama and hanuman ji so individuals also have a lot of importance over there along with that team work is comes in very beautifully in the ramayana when we see rama's journey over there he doesn't do anything alone he could have he could have achieved whatever he wanted to achieve single handed but the very purpose of ramayana is to show us that yes as an individual also i can perform and as a member of a team also i can perform very often we need a team we can't do many things in fact we can't do many things 99.9% of whatever we are doing is always with a team minimum two people three people ramayana depicts all of that very beautifully to us so rama ayana itself means journey whose journey is it it is rama's journey from where to where from ayodhya from a very comfortable zone for the children comfortable zone in the school 
comfortable zone in their own houses in the playground so we have to bring it at their level only then we they will be able to relate to it so starting from there onwards ramayana has got a message even for somebody who wants to attain moksha up to there we can you know different ways of interpreting it so children's level how to bring in all these things so rama's journey from where to where starting from ayodhya which is a very comfortable zone for him he enters into a non comfortable zone we always like to be in our comfort zone children don't want to get promoted little ones you want to go to first standard no i don't want to go because my teacher always say dear darling no we don't they don't, don't want to go to the next class why comfort zone over there home comfort zone i don't want to go to school so we can give very many examples like that so rama goes from the comfort zone to the non comfort zone and when he goes into that non comfort zone as an individual and as a team team means sita is there lakshmana is there then sita is taken away and then afterwards he and enters into a friendship with the vanaras and then the whole journey over there is a very beautiful journey how can we relate it to the children what is rama's goal so from ayodhya to lanka back to ayodhya to establish rama rajya so chil- for children how can i put in rama rajya over there nobody is going to become the pm or the president of the con- right now who knows later on they may become but still for them rama Raj- rama rajya means success the final result the goal so what is it for the children it it can be passing uh, with distinction it can be uh, you know coming uh, first in a, in a competition or in in the sports field it can be any debate examination test anything is a goal over there that is the rama rajya for them that's how we have to bring it down to the children's level so therefore over here the entire ramayana very beautifully gives to us actually every incident is like a slide a picture in front of us picture gallery over there ramayana picture gallery every incident small small incident to big big incidents all of them have got beautiful messages for us for children yes of course for elders also but now we are dealing with children so for children very important over so it gives to us so we have to now reread the ramayana we have read the ramayana but we have, we have to reread it in this context take out and we can take out from all the incidents how to present it to the children at their level wherever they are how uh, is school uh, environment and house environment these are the only two for them so how best they can use their own uh, situations environments to bring out the best in them ramayana gives teaches us all of that uh, because of time i w- i don't think i'll be able to do ever i mean go through uh, all the incident just two incidents i will take up very briefly this very beginning of ramayana itself deals with the transformation of valmiki hunter very cruel he is he always used to kill people loot people plunder people so that's extreme negativity he completely transforms and becomes the greatest rishi sage valmiki rishi valmiki we call him if that transformation had not happened we would not have got ramayana over here today with us it's like and then how did he be, uh, uh, transform opportunity came in front of him in the form of uh, narada in one of the puranas it is said saptarishis so anyway opportunity came when opportunities come we are switched off most of the time children's level we have to give examples to them so we don't catch the opportunity when it when it comes at the right time and deal with it properly put in effort so that we can uh, gain out of it this hunter used that opportunity so beautifully and therefore we saw the transformation it is not just opportunity afterwards he had to put in lot of effort for him it was tapas for children it is tapas of revision studying or practicing whether it is music or dance or sports in their sports field whatever it is and then shining so therefore that the very opening of the ramayana itself deals with that now it doesn't mean oh only wicked people 
transformation is possible for them it doesn't mean that at all from a lower level how to reach a higher level we are like this now can i improve myself yes when opportunities come i must use it and then i can improve that itself is the biggest transformation examples we have abdul kalam he was supposed to be vending paper and president of in chaiwala prime minister even day to day we can give examples to the children so opportunity grasped and therefore we have a person completely transforming so much so that he is the one who gave to us the ramayana so therefore whatever is there in the ramayana he is not an ordinary like i said a person who is just writing a story uh, of uh, princes and princess and kingdoms and like that you always a message over there for all he deals with all spectra everybody is included nobody is excluded over here when it comes to gaining from ramayana so this is one incident that i wanted to talk about another example like i said entire ramayana we can deal with it incident by incident incident by incident incident by incident we can go through it it will take maybe a year it, it depends on how slow or how fast we go through it so therefore we slowly every incident how can it help me to transform myself for the better not for the worse it's there very beautifully laid out in the ramayana for us one more example i will take i will take the example of hanuman ji crossing the ocean in fact we had a very beautiful puppet show we take bala vihar classes at home chinmaya mission bala vihar classes for children they wanted to do a puppet puppet show we gave them this thing children only did the characters cut out you know background scene character painted them um, you know practice the uh, dialogue it was just the story part that they showcased beautifully they did it and it on that video y- yes y- yes and then afterward on the day of the uh, puppet show we had all the children come parents come one of the child ki- comes and tells me ma'am can you tell us the message behind hanuman ji crossing the ocean a child is coming and asking us so we always say oh children you know they they're only on oh, it is only play for them it is only play time play time or study that's it so children are coming and asking us ma'am can you tell us what message we can get from this particular incident that we are showcasing over here in the form of a puppet show hanuman ji crossing the ocean it honestly to tell you all it was not there in my mind to give the message that day because we had programs lined up puppet show and other things but then when the child comes and asks for a message it shows how much we they are interested how much they are involved so how much more we should all be involved as teachers so when that conviction comes to us when first of all we as teachers should be convinced that yes this is solid profound message it's needed it's needed for us and it's needed for the children only then we will be able to communicate otherwise it will only become superficial neither we will be benefited nor we are, our children are going to be benefited so anuman ji crossing the ocean that story i am not going, going to go through that so in the beginning we see everybody says i can cross this much i can cross this much i can cross anuman ji doesn't say anything at all right in the beginning he could have said i can cross and go if he had said that and gone probably team spirit over there afterward they could have somebody could have said he is the first one to say i'll cross and they allowed him actually i also could have crossed if i had been given an opportunity maybe i could have so therefore over there inner team work how to step back allow everybody to have their say and then finally when everybody says i can not do only this much i can do only this much then hanuman ji takes the lead so there are so many things involved like i said time factor so humility is there allowing others also to have their say over there everything not only i can do or only i am correct so there are all these messages that children need to uh, know about no in their lives so at some point of time it will benefit them so therefore that's that's the first message over there then when he is going to take the plunge it's not easy he has accomplished the impossible impossible has become possible so for children what is it of course they are not going to cross the ocean and go for them it can be a test it can be examination it can be running race it can be debating it can be competition 
anything is big for them it's like crossing the ocean we only get stuck with the story crossing the ocean okay crossing the ocean story told how can i deal how can i relate it to a kid for a baby little one it is writing c properly or an a properly with making it without making it ulta for that itself is like crossing a huge ocean so therefore before he starts what does he do he says a prayer these are all things that should be inculcated in the children over there once they are put on the right track afterward they'll never go wrong so he take he says a prayer he invokes the lord and then starts his journey and when he is going over there it's not at all easy for him first of all he meets that maina ka parvata what does it i'm just giving one incident the message over there it says come take rest sleep and all and then go good intention only so child is studying so what does it do temptation diversions will start coming one hour sit and study i want to drink water after 5 minutes after 10 minutes i want to eat something simple simple little thing which they do you can ask them they'll nod their head are you doing this yes ma'am i want to go to the bathroom one hour two hours children don't go but every 5 minutes i want to go i'm giving very very ordinary simple examples which we all as parents also have encountered it all something or the other will be headache is coming stomach is head is coming this is happening that is happening these are all diversions to have a to get back to that comfort zone what does hanuman ji do no he says it's okay yes comfort you're all there i like you all but then not now afterwards after the test is over or the exam is over when we tell all these still things to the children using these powerful mighty characters of ramayana it just sinks into the kids it will not go afterwards it will never go we can write it down all of us on you know stamp paper children will come back and tell us ma'am this is what we heard and we applied it in our lives and today we are what we are because of this so one obstacle over another one comes that see uh, surasa you know opening the mouth and he becoming big and opening the competition with whom with the whole world around every moment it is competition only i want to teach better than the other person or i want to say better than the other person you know comparing contra it's good uh, constructive competition is very good competition with the other and also competition within ourselves also yesterday i was like this today i should be better than what i was yesterday is a competition between me myself of yesterday and today so that is what we have to inculcate in the children they have to outshine every moment in their lives of course their ab- abilities capacities capabilities are all their limitations are there but still so that is the second obstacle that he was able to uh, conquer there he his very again his alertness his shrewdness his sharpness his focusing his concentration all of that we have to bring in over there one incident we can't probably give it out in 20 minutes or half an hour slowly it has to go because into the child it has to sink one second obstacle over the third one comes simika she catches hold of his shadow anything that pulls her and his speed was obstructed he couldn't move forward we can't progress in uh, in our life why something is pulling us back what is pulling us back in in uh, uh, philosophical terms we call it as tamas drowsiness lethargy laziness tomorrow i will do uh, yeah, revision i will start from tomorrow i will start from evening everything naale martini naale martini afterwards i will do it goes on somebody is pulling us who is pulling us nobody is pulling us we ourselves are pulling us ourselves back that is why shadow uh, ramayana is beautiful I mean, we can we can talk about one incident for hours together so actually i was saying half an hour you know i said oh my god what to do? pack up in half an hour is so difficult that that's the beauty of our scriptures and our epics and our puranas and all so therefore pu- pulling back lethargy we find is in everybody children in youth in we all teachers senior citizens all of us so therefore what should we do over there anuman ji will tell us what to do so finally all these obstacles over he lands in uh, um, lanka over there that lankini is there the last effort uh, for him crossing the ocean is his goal at that point of time afterwards we can extend our goal next is seeing sita becomes the goal 
See, the goal shifts every moment. Finally, it is Rama Raj. That is the highest. So, therefore, crossing Lanka and then reaching out to Sita. For, the, for him, that is the goal right now. Lankini is there. Lank effort. She has to be subdued and then he has to cross the fort and then, you know, running around everywhere and trying to find Sita. All of that is the effort that we have to put in. Any work that we need to do. Like I said, it can be a test, revision, I mean, uh, examination, uh, competition, sport, whatever it is. Or any piece of work or any activity has got its own quota of self-effort, which we have to put in, whether we like it or not. If we don't put in that much of self-effort, result will not come to us. So that crossing over, subduing, subduing Lankini and crossing over the fort represents that. Once that is over, where, where there the goal has been reached. Again, we have to extend it now. I just wanted to use only this little bit of crossing the ocean. Uh, I, I mean, what is the message that we can get out of it? So like this, two examples I have used. Again, like I said, team spirit. Uh, th there are many, 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 many aspects that the uh, Ramayana story is teach silently teaching us all. So if we can read in between the words, read in between the shlokas, read, it, read in between the words, we'll get a lot of messages which we can, you know, put it across to our children. I think uh, I'd like to conclude with a very beautiful uh, quote by my own guru, Swami Chinmayananda, on the Ramayana. The insistence was always on Ramayana. The first book which came for the children was Bala Ramayana in, uh, in our Chinmaya mission. So there's a very beautiful article on Ramayana itself. We put it in the blog post also. But just on Ramayana, especially for the children, I'd like to read out. It is his words. So he says, to bring the story of Ramayana to our growing children is the best education. He highlights that word, education, fully on block. That parents can give to their sons and daughters and we can all give to our children in the school. An education that can instill into them a reverence for life and a sense of moral beauty and spiritual alertness in life. Every child must get a chance to grow up in an atmosphere of inspiring ideals, helping it to form its own personal vision in life. If we put the Ramana into them, vision and mission both will get accomplished in the children. So how can I do it? Can I do it? No, all of us can do it. We can do it and I think we must do it also. So with these few words, I'd like to conclude my small little talk. It's, very, it's not even a drop in the ocean. It's a drop, a droplet of a droplet of a drop in the ocean. Because Ramayana is like a sagara. So thank you so much for this patient hearing and thanks so much Vasant Lakshmi Ji too for having given me an opportunity to speak to you all on the significance of Ramayana. Thank you. Thank you.